what's up? My name is Brian, and in this video, we're going to look at the song called Hours by the band Again and Again. Um, but it's also going to be kind of a study in how to play some of these chords and these riffs. So um, here we go. I'm going to break this down into three levels. First, we're going to learn the chords. Then we're going to learn the rhythm. And then we're going to learn all these little fills and embellishments. All right. So jumping right into it, the song is in E minor. That's played like this. I'm only going to play the bottom three strings here. And that's a 4, 3, 2, E minor. The next chord we're going to is a B minor. There is this chord up here. This is a D, right? That's a 6, 5, 5. Then I'm moving down to a C. That's 4, 3, 3. And then I go to a G. And then a B. Right? The G is 2, 3, 2. The B is 3, 2, 2. So uh, one more time all the way through, it's B, E minor to a B minor to a D, a C, a G going to a B. So now we're going to learn the rhythm. And for that rhythm, I'm going to do some plucking. You could strum it, but I think in the intro, there I think they're plucking all three strings. And uh, now we're going to start to add a, a few of these like kind of fill notes. And uh, that sounds like that. So we've got E minor. Then we've got B minor. All right, so I'm going. All right, the rhythm of that is one, two, three, and four, and one, and two. Right, this note that and that those are syncopated then we're going to we'll look at that riff at the very end but from here then we're going to C again that chord is syncopated now I'm putting my fifth finger uh, fifth fret down here then I go to that G chord now this G and the, the following B they're they're all syncopated it's Right. So let's take it from the top, and I'm just gonna play uh, most of the rhythms aside from that. Uh, um, aside from that riff, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Right. You see how there's like this syncopation to it, and you can even hear it better if I play. Uh, I'll play a little drum beat for now. Here, checks out. Right? Like you can kind of hear how I'm playing sometimes with the downbeat and sometimes I'm playing with the upbeat. Uh, so now let's look at the last piece of it, which is this uh, this riff. It goes... Right? And there's kind of a few things going on here. Uh, starting with holding this D chord. Right? That's the 655. And I'm going to hammer on like that. And I'm hammering on the 7th fret. And then I pull off. And I pull off by like literally pulling my ring finger off the string, like that. And then I fret that note, that 7th fret of the E string. And then I pluck the 6th fret here. So I'm, I'm basically holding this D chord as I pull off all these maneuvers, right? A little bit faster. Now, preceding this, you actually play this note first. You play that, and then you play all the all the strings, See, like, like that. So I'm plucking C string, sixth fret, and then I kind of pluck these two strings, uh, fifth fret, fifth fret, and then I do that hammer on. Cool. And then you're going into the C chord. And it's a quick move through that C chord. It goes like this. So let's bring back that beat, and um, I'm gonna play the whole riff together with it. Oh, one, two, one, two, three, four. One more 
time. All right, that's it. That's that's how you play Hours by Again and Again. Shout out to my student who brought this song to me because I didn't know it a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I helped him figure it out. And it's such a cool song, so I thought I'd share with all of you. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, here we go. One, two, one, two.